Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are going to be uh, covering this guy here. This is the uh, King Joe's Warhammer 40k Iron Fist Dreadnought mod. A bit of a mouthful there and sorry if I mispronounce uh, their last name. Uh, I think that's correct. Uh, but yeah, so the mod adds uh, the Iron Fist Dreadnought in here from Warhammer 40k. And uh, it looks pretty awesome. It's a little rough in terms of moving and stuff. I, I, I figured it out. It, it's not super intuitive uh, or, or it's just finicky sometimes. Um, so we have this Dreadnought. Uh, I've not unlocked research just because I don't want all the bullet damage upgrades and stuff. Uh, but if we take a look at the research, uh, you unlock it here after Military 4. It's fairly expensive, 700 of all these packs, minus blue science, or purple science, sorry, which makes sense. And that unlocks your Dreadnought and the two ammo types that go with it. Now, to have to actually craft the Dreadnought, uh, it itself is not super expensive. I think it could actually stand to be more expensive. It's, uh, you can see there, a fair bit of steel, some gears, circuits, and engines, not that bad. Uh, and then you have your ammo, uh, your cannon ammunition here. And then you also have your bolter ammunition. Um, so they're both explosive type of weapons. Um, you can see the cannon, uh, you know, does about 800 damage total. Has some piercing power, good range. Um, the bolter has less range and um, far less damage. Uh, I think it has a faster shooting speed though. Uh, so then you can open this guy up and you can put these... Uh, in here. So you can see this is three times the shooting speed. Basically, this shoots at three a second and this shoots at one a second. Um, and then you put them in their respective slots. And there is some special fuel that comes with this as well. Um, you have both the gas barrels and then also the gas cans. Um, so the gas cans uh, have obviously less fuel value than the barrels. The barrels have 60 megajoules, whereas the fuel or the gas has 24. Um, this scene does seem to give um, more speed, though, more acceleration, at least. Um, so we could switch this out, I suppose, if we wanted to take that out and put this in here. Um, so it actually has to use this fuel up first, but we could <laughs> hop out. So it does have some voice lines as well. I think I accidentally hit the key. There is um, a hotkey to have it use a taunt, um, which you can do if you like. Uh, or you, you can just like turn the volume down on that, disable that. But let me show this thing to you. So put these in here. You can just control click as well. We'll put this fuel. Um, so it can't be used for a gas can, um, which I find interesting because that's the only thing this is for. So I'm not really sure what this is for then, because <laughs> this is the only vehicle the mod adds. Um, but uh, all right, so. Oh, maybe so. I think maybe the, the, the developer does have other mods. Maybe this fuel is just for the vehicles in the other mods. I just wouldn't think they would have included it in this mod. If it can't be used with this mod. So that's a little weird. Um, but we do have our barrels here. And then you do have a grid. Um, so I'm going to throw fusion reactor in here to start with. And I'm going to hop in. So if I, um, if I hit my move key, uh, W, it, it's not going to actually move. Um, it seems so... Now I'm hitting my D key and then A key to rotate. And it seems like you have to hit them both at the same time. So I got it to move by hitting like two directional keys, like A and W or D and W, and then it will move. Um, it's a little finicky uh, like that. Maybe it's just because it's on two legs. You have to kind of get it started like that. Um, but I spawned some stuff in. As you can see, um, this is pretty strong. And it's um, quite beefy too. It has 9,000 um, 9, health here. Now if we switch to this... Um, it actually has knockback too, which I think is pretty cool. Um, that can actually help you a lot. Maybe a little overpowered here. If you use it correctly, this guy can't even hit me. Um, so yeah, it does. It's a little finicky to move, I will admit. Uh, less range on this thing, but I mean, you can see I'm just pelting this. But this this thing, huge explosion um, area of effect here. So, you know, there's there was a behemoth in there. And it is. it seems like there's a minimum range with this as well. So you would then want to switch. And there you go. I mean, this thing just absolutely wrecked those bases. Um, we don't have any upgrades um, either for it. There's none specifically for it, but there are, of course, like damage upgrades just in vanilla. 
Uh, keep in mind, though, that was only like one behemoth biter and a few. Um, you also can smash them, as you can see, just like in a tank or something. You can just walk over them if you want. It does take some damage doing that. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. It's kind of an alternative to a, to a tank. I would say this is a very nice medium between the tank and the Spider-Tron. It's obviously more expensive than the tank. It's way better than the tank. Um, and then it's, you you know, you would probably build it before the Spider-Tron. Research-wise, it's cheaper than the Spider-Tron by a bit, and it's certainly cheaper to build than the Spider-Tron. Um, if we take a look here at the Spider-Tron, uh, the... the uh, mech there actually we can't actually see the health of the spider tron but the mech there um i think actually has more health uh but it may have a smaller grid i don't recall the grid size of the spider tron i think it i think we saw it there i think it's um maybe it is only eight by eight it's ten by six okay so that would be about the same um so yeah the spider tron's way more expensive so maybe this requires a little balancing uh you know it I'd say it could be a lot more expensive to build for sure, especially considering its health. Um, but a lot of it's just for fun. Like, if you're a Warhammer fan and you want this in your game, um, I think it would be a lot of fun for sure. It would definitely add <laughs> add some variety to your combat, and uh, I think it's just a lot of fun to use. Um, so there is that. And then last thing in the settings, like I said, you can tweak some settings. You can change the recipe. So you can just change this if you want. Um, so that's easy and then the ammunition cost as well um, so you could just change this like double the recipe cost to make it if you want to balance it yourself which is pretty cool um i, I had seen that before i i, I just think like the base value of it's kind of low like i think it should just be more expensive to begin with um but if you do want to tweak it yourself you can do this in the startup settings um you can turn the taunt volume down you can turn off the walking sound if that gets annoying or you can just turn it down and there you go those are the settings for it um that's a mod i think it's pretty cool i always love uh vehicles and military type mods so i'm just gonna um you know maybe take a look at some of the others like i said the mod dev for this has other vehicle mods in a similar vein uh but that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i do hope you enjoyed and uh, if you have any questions and thoughts, do leave them below. And um, we'll just throw some exoskeletons in here just to test. Um, see, I don't know if that really makes any difference, to be honest with you. I don't think that actually makes a difference. <laughs> uh, well, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Okay. Uh, but yeah, link in the description to the mod portal. You can check it out. And uh, it actually auto dries itself, apparently. Well, no, it's slowing down. Interesting. It just had a lot of momentum. My hands are completely off the keyboard, by the way. <laughs> So that's fun. Anyway, take care, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, any questions, thoughts, leave below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.